I have gone through every single league, every single team to find out that UCDAFC is the poorest team on FC24. Their budget, only $812,000. It is such a low budget that it becomes incredibly hard to rebuild a team like this into greatness. But that is what we are doing today. As a club that doesn't have the biggest funds, we're going to play counter-attacking football. Low risk and a low block, and then pushing forward as fast as we can to possibly surprise our opponents. But for that, we need the right players. With the counter-attacking play style, we have four open positions for coaches, but this man is an expert in the counter-attacking play style, and he has four stars in defending. And defending is going to be key for our success here. And now take a look at our team. This is the starting 11 that we're going to be kicking off with. And you can immediately tell it's extremely low rated, but it has a bunch of youngsters in this. I believe it's like a university team or something like that. I remember doing a rebuild on UCD before, hence why I know this. But this is the highest potential player in our team. He's the only one with potential over 70 to start things off with. Mr. Bab from the Republic of Ireland, six foot tall. Bab. Please don't ever do that again. The big moment of truth. Anything in the youth academy, please. Oh, old up, 61 rated. Gabriel Clement. Hey, the youth academy is going to play a huge part right here. I'm going to sign anyone that could potentially make it into the starting 11. And honestly, there are a bunch right here that definitely could make it in there. And here he comes. Clement, a Frenchman. 61 rated. Goes straight into the camp position. And we do have a goalkeeper in Dimitriou, a 16-year-old from Greece. We'll be taking over for more. This is actually amazing. This is going to save us so much money. And then we have this Krupa guy who has really good pace on him. But the other stats aren't that great. So I assume he could actually be better in a different position. I'm going to test him out on a couple of development plans. But this right here, this man right here. This is a great start. To finance any sort of transfers, I had to let go of a bunch of players. Keeney, Osam, even the Youth Academy player who in any other position wasn't higher rated for some reason had to leave. And a bunch more players. Now, all of these sales uh, put us up to around 2 million. Around 2 million in the budget. Now, that is very good. So... Let's see if I can bring in the right players to supplement this team immediately. Starting off with our new number nine, Fabio Giallo. This could become a legendary striker and we might not even know yet. UCD Dublin. We have picked up a player whose contract is running out. Barnsley has let him go for 270k and I do believe he should be higher rated than the striker we have right now. Yes, he comes in higher rated than Bishop. I'm sorry, Bishop, but we'll let you go. Jallo comes in straight away with pace, with decent amounts of shooting and the four-star weak foot. He is a left footer and only 17 years old. Very explosive. I like that. And in walks a new centre-back, a big talent that is at Bayer Leverkusen. And it is... Let me show you his name. The main man, Madi Monamai. Yes, the Belgian talent is now a part of Dublin for 600k. Yes, that is a big amount of money spent. But this could be a huge player for us. Comes in as a 61 rated player. He's right footed, so he's going to replace the right footed center back there for us. He can also play in the CDM position if needed, but I'm not going to go for it. He comes in at the age of 17, 6 foot 1 tall from Belgium. Monamai, this guy also could be a leader in this team. We keep on spending small fees for some top players, and this is Pontus Dapo, a Swedish talent from Hecken. Yes, BK Hecken, who I believe play in one of the European competitions this season. He is coming in now for 430k, and he will be a decent upgrade. I'm sorry, one of you guys will have to be dropped. I guess it will be Norris. Bye-bye. He comes in as a 60-rated player already. We'll be turning him into a left wing, that is for sure. Left foot it, three star, three star, six foot one tall. Wow, did not expect that. But man, we're making some good moves so far. And in walks the final transfer of my first season. I've spent all the money that I got through the transfers of players that were already in the club. And it is Aaron 
Tinta. Yes, he is coming in in the left back position from Augsburg. I'm extremely satisfied to welcome him into the club because, again, it is a massive upgrade. 60 rated, not necessarily some of the greatest stats there, but someone with high attacking work rate, 5 foot 11 tall from Germany. Very excited about all the moves we have made so far. Let's see how this first season goes. I fully expect to get smashed. I must admit, at the end of this season, I am surprised. We have managed to finish above Barrow, Morkham, Crawley, Crew, Alexandra, and Harrogate Town. UCD technically should have been the worst team in here, but it seems like the purchases and the players that we have brought in have made a big difference. The highest rated ones right now as we speak, the Youth Academy talent Clement. On the left wing, Dapo is looking great. Tainta as well. Monamai looks great. Goalkeeper has grown nicely. And Jalo obviously up to a 61 as well. So things have gone somewhat quite okay to start off with. And our right midfielder seems to be the top player of our team. I didn't expect that, but I love it. So first season is over and I do want to see progress in the next one. This time 19th. Next time, hopefully at least 11th. 10th, something like that. Starting off into the new season, we're going to sign some of the youth academy players I've been building up. Dickinson, 60 rated. These guys could be quite clutch when it comes to going ahead and making a bunch of cash to utilize for new transfers as well. And now we're going to start off the transfers of the new season. The first one is a CDM named Luca Lipani. Now, 340k. Is not a lot of uh, money. We have gone ahead and gotten ourselves like around a 2 million budget. So he comes in and I hope he's higher rated. Yes, he is. He comes in with a 60 rating. The backups will have to be sold. I need to make some cash profits and all that stuff. But I am looking to bring in another CDM as well and increase the rating of this team to above 60 in every single position. So also potentially need to look into a new right back or center back. Unless these guys obviously grow quickly. And here is the CDM partner I was looking for. It is a player from Uruguay. And if you guys know, Uruguayan national team is like one of the toughest ones to play against. So maybe this guy could be one of those players in the future. He comes in for Gallagher. Comes in with a 62 rating, which I also love. And this allows me to sell Dickinson, Keane and Gallagher as well. And possibly even Gordon. I'll make my decision on all these things because we do need money. But that is a nice upgrade to the CDM spot for sure. These guys have upside. 18 years old, 5 foot 10 tall. This is a good signing for this squad. And he did only cost me like 400k. In comes the next transfer. It's Tarek Buchmann, a center back from Bayern Munich. Yes, we are signing some big boy talent who have obviously no chance at Bayern. But in a club like ours, this could be a huge player. Wells, I'm sorry I'm taking you out. But Buchmann comes in with a 64 rating. Amazing physicality. Six for two tall. 19 years old i assume because he's at bayern he's probably also playing the under 19s national team for germany as well i'm very happy with this signing now coming in bab you're the only one left pal hey beware i could replace you to keep on growing in box a new goalkeeper yes i have sold a bunch of players guys just now was able to let go and this one is one i wanted now gallagher and all these guys as you can see in the background have been sold which was an important part to be able to achieve the signing of timothy lotutala a young french goalkeeper who i have never used before now i do want initially my or i should say ideally I want to have a bunch of players in here that are actually real. So Lotutala walks into the club from Hull City, 21 years old, 6 foot 1 tall goalkeeper, an upgrade and also a real player. And for that camp position, I have one specific player I desperately want to bring in. I just don't know if I have the funds for it. Maybe you'll have to wait on that one. It's not Zlatan, but it is Ibrahimovic. I was able to do a straight swap deal. This is Bayern Munich's big talent that they actually loaned out this season. I had to wait for the second season to start for us to get him. Arijon Ibrahimovic, an amazing talent. Bayern Munich have used him multiple times in their setup already, despite his young age, and he has shown his technical abilities. 
Ibrahimovic is now part of this rebuild and I couldn't be happier with his signing. Seasons come to an end and improvements are here but they aren't incredible. I'll be honest. We are only in the 12th position. As I said, man, the poorest team rebuild. It's a tough one. But this season, who has gone up? It is MK Don, Stockbrook, and Notts County. Next season, I want to be up there. I think we should be competing for it. And looking at the starting 11 right here, we are slowly getting to a level where everyone could potentially reach the 70s, just like Dabo has done. I'm very happy about his growth. And I do wonder... Who has been the main man this season? Because I do feel like we should be much better attacking. Look at that. 17 and 7. Jalo 11 and 3. And 10 and 7 for our right midfielder who did really well last season and continues to do so. And Ibrahimovic with 10 goal contributions. I am wondering though, should I start changing my tactical setup. Will that have an impact on our game as well? I'm sorry, but I have to bring in a new right back. We have to upgrade this team and this new season I've been given a big budget, but here's the catch. The guy's Irish, okay? We have a team from Ireland. Sam Curtis is Irish. Fab, I'm sorry, you've got to go. I had to put him into the deal to make this one happen. Sam Curtis comes in with a plus six, no, sorry, plus four upgrade on the position basically kind of guaranteeing us that next season we're actually going to be having a bunch of 70 plus players or not next season hopefully by the end of this season but curtis comes in with decent amount of pace good dribbling defending and physicality a four star weak foot and he is six foot one which is a big plus for a defender and guess what this season it all worked out ucd afc finally get promotion after years being stuck in league two we go along Wigan and Burton up into League One. A huge achievement for the club finally has come through. So from now on, everything will be kick-started. But let's see the team. Jallo, 71 rated. Looking all right. I was kind of expecting more growth out of him, but he's a five-star, five-star now. Ibrahimovic is looking great. He has an amazing name. He's going to be here forever. Dapo is on fire. He now has potential to be special, which is huge. The CDMs are looking solid. Don't get me wrong. Nothing too special. I probably will change the formation moving ahead into something different later on. But right midfielder, Behin has gone up to a 72. Curtis, the new man, 73. Defensively, all these guys are looking very good. And our goalkeeper is on a 75, which is definitely worthy of at least a League One goalkeeper's rating. So I'm very happy with how things turned out here. And I want to know... The stats. Dapo, 22 and 8. Behen, 17 and 9. Jalo, 14 and 4. Ibrahimovic, 13 and 7. And I can't actually change my tactical setup for whatever reason. Um, the game crashes every time I do. Nice one, EA. You'll remember that we just got promoted up here, right? Well, we are first placed. Yes! League One has been dominated by UCD AFC. Dublin's club is doing something incredible right here only four losses throughout this entire season which makes me very proud but we go into the squad and see massive growth in our striker finally it has happened i was actually thinking about selling him and bringing in a new one and i gotta tell you i had like a four million uh, sterling pounds budget and i couldn't do anything with it because all these players want more money as we go up the leagues hopefully the budget will get much better soon so I was kind of stuck with all these players that we have right now. I could be bringing in some free agents. I'll be honest, next season, I'm kind of leaning towards bringing in a bunch of free agents for the bench at least. Maybe not for the starting 11. But I'm very, very pleased to see how this team has grown into such an incredible side after years of just grinding through all these matches. And Dapo again, he just doesn't stop, does he? Jalo 21 and 12, Bian on a 13 and 10, and Arjon Ibrahimovic on a 12 and 5. So these guys have now carried us into championship football. And surely there is more money there, right? And they gave me 9 million.
I can't do anything with that. One point was the difference between us and two other teams when it comes to promotion. Yes, Luton Town 96 points, Everton 96 points, UCD on 97. We have gone up back to back right here after years of struggling in the League 2. Now to go up this quickly, it's a joy to watch this team pull all this stuff off. What did you just say? Now, in the starting 11, we have Jallo on an 83. He is ready to tear up the Prem and the same goes for Ibrahimovic. Behan is on an 82. He's an original of the squad. I can't believe he's still here, by the way. And then we have Dafo on an 88 as the clear highest rated player in the team. Tinta on 85, Buchmann on 80, Monamai on an 82 and Curtis 82. And our goalkeeper Lotutala 84. And I wasn't able to bring in any free agents because I was too scared that I needed to pay too much on the wages and would have absolutely no money. But going into the Premier League, I hope that can change. Look at that. Pontus 27 and 14. Jalo 24 and 7. Ibrahimovic and also Kieran have done a great job. This has been one of the most successful seasons for sure. And now Premier League football is here. In the Premier League, they've only given us about 14 million to play with. And you know what? I decided to go into the free agents. Diakite, Agassi, Grant, Garrido, Ali, Fernandez, and Kaya. All these guys are coming in to support the starting 11, which I 100% believe in. These guys have got us back-to-back -back promotion. In our first season in the Prem, our team has done a great job. UCD on 50 points. Can I ask for more? I mean, Everton, Leeds United, and Nottingham are going down, and the title winners are Manchester United. Hey, let me know in the comments, how long do you think it will take Manchester United to win the Premier League title once more? I'm thinking at least five years, at least, surely. Until Guardiola leaves and Klopp as well. Let me know what you think. I'm just being honest here, but let's see what happens with the rest of our team here. Jalo, 87. Ibrahimovic, 86. Fehan on an 85. Dapo, 92 right now. He's so far ahead of the rest of the team, it's actually insane. And I am actually considering switching to a formation that has two center mids instead of center defensive midfielders because they tend to grow a lot faster. And my budget has been terrible so far. So I'm really hoping we get a much better budget going into the next season. And our goalkeeper, though, looks very good at what he does. His rating is very high, and I love that. Tapo is the one. Pontus is still smashing it for us. And Jallo in the Prem has gotten himself a plus four throughout the season. And Ibrahimovic, I believe, has done better in the Premier League than he did in the Championship. So, very impressive season for a couple of our players for sure. But uh, can we push into the European spots next season? I don't know. European football is coming. Yes, we finished in a sixth position ahead of Arsenal and the likes of Brighton. This season, United once again won the title, but I stuck to my players, guys. I stuck to them. I got into January and I looked at their ratings and I thought, you know what? Let's just keep going with these lads. And at the end of the day, it paid off. And I didn't realize that Tinta is one of our highest rated players. But take a look at the starting 11. Jalo, 91. Ibrahimovic, 90. Pontus, Dahpo on a 94. Tinta, 90. Then we have Tutala on a 90 as well. And even the original of the squad that has made it this far is now an 88 rated player. I am loving this and I want this team to be the one that gets into that finale because I want to play with these players. We have played with them for so many years now. And Ibrahimovic, 18 and 11, is the best player this season. He's definitely been helped by that name, surely. Our squad has managed to win the Premier League. Yes, it is done. The Premier League title has been secured, but that's not all. That is not all, my friends. Let me show you the Europa League. We have beaten Leipzig in the final. What is this team looking like that has won the double this season? Jalo 93, Ibrahimovic 93, Pontus Dahpo on a 96. Midfielders looking absolutely class. Our right midfielder cannot shoot, but he can speed past people, pass and dribble. And the defense 
is looking ever so solid. I am so proud of this team. This team deserves Champions League football, especially when you see that this man had 50 goal contributions. He could actually end up at a 99 by the end of this. That would be ridiculous. You wanna see something? Here it is. UCD has won the FA Cup. The Carabao Cup has been won by UCD. The Premier League has been won by the club from Dublin once more. The treble has been achieved already. But the quadruple, yes, that one is on the line too. We are in the Champions League final against Barcelona and it makes so much sense. It really does. I mean, come on. This is such an insanely high, insanely high rated team. I've had teams with 85 rated players making it in the Champions League final. So it has actually taken us quite a long time to get here, but it's all worth it. Arijon Ibrahimovic, 40 and 14. Jalo, 39 and 8. Pontus Dapo, 97 rated, 22 and 20. And even our right midfielder who can't shoot has 17 goals and 11 assists. Guys, it is time to step onto the pitch with this squad. As we get into this massive matchup, I've just watched Sergio Ramos score an own goal for Barcelona to take the lead against Sevilla. Oh boy, that's something he's not gonna like, but I don't care what he likes or not. I am right here to make our team win. So let's see if we can make this possible. With all these high rated players, I wonder who is the best out of all of them, Curtis. Oh, that's a lovely pass into Behan. A good cross. Jalo! He hits the target from outside the box with a volley. This team is OP. Oh, wow. What a freaking header. Dude, he was flying through the air. He did a 360 after the header. Barca. Pushing on with some great passing. They're inside the box. I switched the wrong player. I was switching players, man. 1-0 to Barcelona. 44 minutes in. Lautaro Martinez scores. This is not good. I cannot lose this. There's absolutely no way. Yes, big steal. Jalo. On the left. Ibra. Ibrahimovic. 64th minute. Arijon Ibrahimovic has done it. For Dublin. Yes. Come on. Behan. Ibrahimovic again on a run. Look at that pace. He gets in behind. He's past people. And he passes it across. Ibrahimovic has single handedly turned this game around. Jalo only needs to tap it in. 2 1 for Dublin. Barca, where are you at? Oh, that could be something. Barca could make their comeback right here, but they won't because we have players available and ready for these types of moment, moments. Dabo, Pontus Dabo. He is now just taking on the entire team. He's sick and tired. He's 97 rated and he wants to have a bit of fun and he can't. Dublin defending, paying attention to every move of our opponents. And here we go again, down the right with Curtis, the Irish right back. Could he do something here? He's waiting for his teammate to arrive, but instead it is a counter-attack. Started by Ferran Torres, I believe. Barcelona could make a comeback happen here, but Amaro steps in and this is the end. We got it. We freaking got it. And that trophy is something we have definitely earned. Guys, it has been some journey, but I am so proud that we have gone through it. UCD has finished it off. Dublin, you can be proud. We have done it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I will catch you on the next one. This was definitely one of the toughest ones, but also one of the best ones of the year. Catch you next time. Take care and peace.